Cooper and I'm the uh, director of the Cyberline 12 UK uh, strategy competition. When I thought about the, the skills that we've got in the UK, we've got a huge range of fantastic cybersecurity skills in the UK that aren't just technical. And this competition really focuses on pulling out that talent. We've been trying this year to really try and give the students an amazing experience and learn uh, even more than they did last year. So for example, the teams that don't get through to the semi-final, we've been giving bespoke coaching upstairs with some amazing leaders across the industry. So we've got BT as our strategic sponsor in this amazing venue of BT Tower, uh, which all the students have loved and it's pretty much the, uh, the most iconic venues in London. I am Rob Partridge, I am the Head of Commercial Development for Penetration Testing at BT Security. BT has 2,500 security professionals worldwide and we find challenges uh, recruiting into those areas, specifically around specialist skills, so we do have a challenge around technical skills, but we also, as we grow our technical base, we have to grow the skills that support that as well, and the skills that will help grow our business globally. My name is Alex Lazar, I am Romanian and I study uh, an international master's security intelligence and strategic studies at the University of Glasgow. Originally I am from Romania. I am here just for a few days for this amazing event for the Cyber 912. In my team we have Angelica, who is from Moldova, Zoe, who is here from England, from uh, London actually, and then we have Hendrik, who is from West South Germany. I used to teach in the United States and I have experience of coaching two teams at Cyber 912 in Washington DC. I moved in the UK last year and I remember the experience we had in Washington DC and how students got kind of engaged and like to do kind of more practical and applied exercises. And I thought it was an amazing opportunity. We have the budget so we brought three teams here at Cyber 912 UK. My name is Simon Turner, I'm representing UCL, our team name is the Crypto Kitties. So I've got my colleagues on the same course, Isabella, Zoe and Clementine. So we're doing a Masters of Public Administration in Digital Technologies and Public Policy. It's a very sort of cross-discipline uh, approach that applies massively to the kind of things that we're doing here at Cyber 912. It's very interesting with how the market has shifted and how businesses have adopted technology as a whole. Cybersecurity is in a transitional state right now where businesses are identifying that they actually need to adopt cybersecurity strategies and skills as a business enablement facility versus what it used to be a, an insurance policy. The intelligence pack had a lot of resources that helped us to come up with our final analysis and I think our presentation went well. We learned a lot during the process because we didn't come with a lot of knowledge so getting feedback from the judges, things that would have added on the good parts of our presentation, I felt it was a good learning process for us. I'm Ewan Lawson, I'm a Senior Research Fellow at the Royal United Services Institute. So for the second year in a row, I'm, I'm here acting as a, a judge, um, doing an evaluation of the team's uh, performances. Uh, at RUSI, we've been looking at cybersecurity for a number of years now, particularly in the strategy and policy domain, which is an area we think is undersold, is not given enough attention. So it's great to see some you know, bright young people really engaging with some of the challenges and issues rather than just the pure technical stuff. Hi, I'm Claire Bevan and I'm a member of the Strongest Link 2.0 from Queen's University Belfast. Well, we're part of an interdisciplinary cohort of PhD students and we thought that all our skills combined could bring us into a really interesting team to look at cyber strategy and policy. Um, as a new part, we've all come from different disciplines. We have a lawyer, an economist, a um, a sociologist and then I'm from the computing science background so we thought if we could bring us all together then we would be able to add value to this scenario. I'm Barry Pavel, I'm the Senior Vice President at the Atlantic Council and Director of the Scowcroft Center for Strategy and Security there. Cyber 912 competition started uh, roughly in 2012 and this was an effort that began because we saw a, a critical gap. We had people who were good on technology, people who were good on cyber policy, and geopolitical questions, but rarely people, uh, especially the emerging generation, that were good on both. I've been very impressed with the, the talent in the, the, the UK school teams. They really have a good handle on the cyber part of the job, including the government ministries that are very cyber relevant. And they also have a, a good sense that cyber activities don't occur in a vacuum, that there's always a geopolitical context, there's always an actor trying to achieve something that may be damaging to UK interests, so they, they are good at weaving together the different strands of activity. 